C88. Hello everyone and welcome back to Speak Some More. My name is Soros88 and today as you can see I'm uh, rocking a new outfit and I'm actually on a cave, well a mine that I built and a lot has changed in the la since the last time we uh, talked to each other. Um, so yeah, let me, let me quickly show you. Uh, first of all, um, of course you can notice um, the new the new rocking outfit I got the Aspire armor trim in one of my expeditions to the end because of course I went and raiding and not only that uh, I've been doing quite a lot in between episodes last time we talked to each other I was like in the verge of uh, exploring the ancient city I don't know if that's what it's called uh, but yeah um, I mean, the place where the warden lives and all that stuff. And uh, I told you I was going to prepare. And that's what I've been doing. <laughs> but uh, I got a little bit carried on. <laughs> on preparing, like, fully. And now I have, like, uh, all of my shulker boxes, like, properly um, organized and full with uh, all of the material needed. And I decided to do a little bit of extra work on the world. Because <laughs> I've been putting off like a lot of projects here and the first one was actually building a proper mine uh, For me to gather resources down here. So as you can see, I've been actually kind of uh, gathering a little bit of resources here I have a, a, a shulker box with some stuff and of course here We have like a lot more stuff couple deep slates some more diamonds here a little bit of gold uh, raw copper, raw iron, and more couple deep, uh, couple couple deep slate, uh, a lot of redstone, a lot of uh, lapis lazuli. I stumbled upon uh, um, another one of the uh, I forgot the name of the structure, but but uh, the place where you can gather the amethyst and the calcite and the basalt and uh, yeah, more more raw material, a little bit more diamonds, more lapis lazuli, a little bit of uh, mob stuff that I've killed and two empty shulkers here and uh, as well here I think I have a little bit more of material so yeah more diamonds and um, yeah all of this all of this stuff I found uh, on the surface of the of the world I found a little bit of uh, a portal a, a, a rune portal and this is all that I could gather over there and yes yeah, you can see uh, tons of stuff like from the caves but as you can see as well, <laughs> I've been doing like uh, uh, quite a lot of work. Uh, these tunnels are 200 blocks uh, deep, each one of them. And uh, the point here is to use my usual uh, mine si mining system, which is strip mining. And here I will mark like uh, tunnels that will go two blocks wide um, apart from each other. Like this will be another tunnel this will be another tunnel so I'm marking like uh, where the tunnels are going to be leaving one space in between and of course that uh, empty space will be the opposite here so yeah that's uh, that's the point here so to make a little bit of strip mind uh, each one of these tunnels will be like 200 blocks as well uh, from each side of course in this one I'm going to just do the right side in the middle one is where I'm going to do both sides of the mine and here I'm just going to do the left side so this one do doesn't intersect with the tunnels that are going to be like from here on out right so I don't know if that's kind of clear <laughs> but yeah that's it so um, that's one of the of the things that I've been doing the other thing it's actually a mine base like underneath my actual base so yeah let's take this trolley and i will show you what i'm talking about of course as you can see i'm mining at a lava level which is now the best place for us to find diamonds and here you can find a little bit of a storage room which i've been working on since like uh, a lot of time so you can see the actual copper it's getting like green from all the time that i've been working here and I thought to myself, I'm 
actually kind of uh, wearing out all the coal that I'm mining and I need uh, like a huge system where I can find like a more renewable, more easy to access uh, combustible, right? And I went, uh, what is it that I can use for that? And I thought, I mean, lava. I just show you like a sneak peek of the outside. And here it's uh, the new system that I uh, built for me to have like a huge furnace. This is not fully automated. I want to do that disclaimer. I'm, I'm planning on doing uh, one uh, auto smelter, which will be like a huge machine, uh, which will be like a huge machine, but uh, this is not it yet, right? So um, yeah, let me, let me quickly show you. So the first steps, it's actually on the far part of this here we have uh, like the end of the of the tunnel and here we have some stairs and this is what I created right of course this is uh, this columns these lava columns are more like um, in a aesthetic kind of way but uh, the important blocks are actually the lava pools down here all of these lava it's actually uh, blocks of lava so these are full blocks of lava, all of these. And the point of that is to uh, actually feed some blocks down there, which I will show you in a moment. So if we go down here and we enter one of these doors, you will go to a chamber, which has a lot of lava, uh, of infinite lava uh, creators. Right, so you just put cauldrons and then just put um, these stalactites here and the lava will drop down and will fill the cauldrons and then you just grab some buckets, fill them with lava and dump them over here. This system will lead you to another chamber. Of course, I know this is not like very, uh, <laughs> uh, very friendly with the user, but I mean, it looks cool, right? I mean, to me it looks cool. I don't know what you guys think, but uh, but yeah, to me it looks kind of amazing. It looks like um, an old built uh, lava recollecting system. <laughs> so yeah, we have tons and tons and tons of, of lava um, recollecting system here. And once you finish uh, creating all the lava buckets and dumping them all in here, they all go to the last chamber, which is the furnace chamber. And as I told you, this is all manual. So here you can find all the lava buckets and then you go one by one and click and place your lava buckets and then place all the minerals that you're willing to, to smelt. And then of course uh, you gather all of your materials. So for example, here I have a lot of block of irons. Here I have a lot of block of copper. <laughs> which I'm actually willing to use to build uh, a lot of what I'm planning down here. So yeah, this is kind of the project that I've been working on uh, that I already finished <laughs> because yeah, this, this whole construction work is done. And of course here is uh, directly connected to um, this like carved up cave. And here we will have like a uh, a storage system properly marked on for us to be able to grab our, all, all, our, all of our mining stuff. And here is when I realized that I actually needed to do another trip to the end because I was running out of shulker boxes. And since this storage is actually quite uh, small, I will need uh, to use some shulkers to, you know, uh, like storage a little bit more of things here. I'm actually willing to go again and grab more shulkers because I, I think I'm still short of them. I think I only have like a stack of, of shulker shells. So that's uh, 30, 32 shulker boxes actually. And I've already used some of them to, to fill on my ender chest. So yeah, I mean, a lot of work to do. Uh, the other thing that I've been working that I actually gave you like a sneak peek here it's uh, the actual tunnel on uh, my cave so this will connect of course this is 
this is just a, a raw estimate of what, what we're going to be working here. So of course you remember this tunnel we carved out uh, by using the Wither fight <laughs> back on, I think was episode 26 or 27, I, I can remember well actually. But all of this was just made by the Wither exploding everything. And I just managed to place uh, all of these planks, these wooden planks, and uh, fill uh, all the sides of this tunnel with... Uh, moss blocks and all that stuff. I'm going to do a terraforming work on this and I want it to look like a lush cave with some um, with some plants uh, uh, dropping from the ceiling and a little, bit, a little bit of natural light from those plants. I want to place like a little bit of um, rivers and maybe some small cascades and all that stuff and I want to do this uh, until we reach like the huge cave system that we have been uh, visiting and of course as well I want to uh, make an entrance to our zombie collector uh, like our, our zombie spawner down there where we actually uh, grab a lot of our experience points and um, and uh, yeah uh, all, of, all of our material for enchanting and all that stuff so yeah this is kind of like uh, an exterior I didn't want to to, to cover this up, I think it looks cool uh, just to have like a snippet of, of some sort of structure down there. And of course, the other thing that I've been working um, it's like this facade here, like showing you this is like the rail system. Uh, as you can see, I'm al I've already prepared like all of the rails here to go down uh, on this bridge and to lead us on to the cave system uh, over there. Uh, the idea is to actually uh, do another set of, of rails here and to go even further down and to reach like uh, the future um, village that will be built down there which if you remember this is like one of the first caves that we actually found um, when we were like creating this world and building our place up there so of course all of these uh, tunnel I've been reworking I've been uh, breaking all of the stone and all that stuff just so we can have like all of these rails coming up and I made these like um, mine archers like mine arch sorry uh, that support uh, all of this wooden structure with the stone and all that stuff just so it doesn't fall down on the on the on the tunnel and i really like like the aesthetic look that it has now it looks like a proper mine so if you go down which i think it's a little bit more of a friendly way to uh play <laughs> play, play it back for you i think it looks quite nice so yeah, let, let, let me let me uh, show you how how this looks when you're on the actual card. Just go like this. Hopefully this will record properly. But yeah, now we have the proper use of this building, which has been sitting on our world uh, since like a long time ago. <laughs> And uh, the reason I've been working on that is because in between work, uh, like working on the mine and all that stuff uh, below, I've also been um, gathering materials from my cattle. I've been working on the cows and of course the ships, because as you remember, we actually need a lot of wool. And I think this is it, yeah. I'm almost done with the white wool, uh, which I need for... Uh, the exploration of the ancient city so all of these guys have been um, have been working hard on giving me all their precious wool <laughs> and yeah um, I've been doing this like in between I, I, I feed the, the the cows and I just um, grab all the materials that they offer and then I go to the ships and of course I grab the wool until they are full of wool again <laughs> I don't know how many times I've said wool already but yeah uh, that's like what I've been doing 
And yeah, that's what uh, that's what I've been working on here. Uh, there's another thing I want to show you, and that's on my shulkers down there. I love writing these things, in case you haven't noticed. Uh, but yeah, the thing that I wanted to show you was... Uh, I've also managed to uh, gather my first stack of block of diamonds. Uh, here's the shulker that I was talking about, the shulker share. Here's the uh, breastplate, of course, with the new decoration here. Look at this. Oh, I look nice. I look nice. <laughs> I love it, I love it. And uh, the other thing that I wanted to show you was uh, a little bit of the results from uh, the end trip. So here we have now five elytras fully uh, enchanted. And of course our, our fireworks which we made um, that farm like a long ago. And yeah, I'm really proud of that. and. Of course, we also got a, a ton more of uh, armor and um, diamond tools as well, which I've already placed in the proper place. And um, I'm thinking it's maybe time to also start working on the uh, marketplace, which I want to uh, I want to do with the new, well, not the new, well, with the villagers. Because I, I think I'm I'm already I'm ready to start enchanting my things with the f uh, biggest enchantments that I can. Um, I've been doing a little bit of work here as well uh, with the librarian on my on my lighthouse. Let me go inside. Let's pay him a visit. I think it's this, yeah. So, Mr. Blue Brooks Hadling, he's been uh, giving me a lot of uh, Unbreaking 3 enchantments. But the reason I was thinking um, about making the marketplace, it's because uh, Olivia has raised her prices. <laughs> and I'm not sure I'm so <laughs> comfortable with that. <laughs> I mean, I did some beside her and I saved her. So she see she should uh, have the one gem prize like permanently. Oh, what? I bought books from her, like mending books from her, before making this video, and she was charging me like eleven emeralds. Well, she just made me look back. She just made me look bad in front of all of them. She's in, she's just ignoring me. I mean that's rude, Olivia. That's just rude. Anyways, <laughs> all of my all of my new armor uh, is finally here, like properly uh, gathered. So all my diamond helmets with you know a lot of <laughs> enchantments from the end, of course. Projectile protection, protection four. I mean these are kind of broken. But they they still have not all of the enchantments that I would like to have, so that's what I'm think. Uh, that's why I'm thinking it's maybe time to start thinking about undertaking that project, and of course a lot of pickaxes as well with tons of great enchantments, some shovels, uh, some swords as well. So yeah, a lot of materials. Here we have the new heads. Here we have mending books, uh, unbreaking books, and here we have a lot of uh, enchantment books, just like random because I was going to go to the end and I had like 70 levels of experience, so I didn't want to waste them just like dying there, <laughs> just in case I died. Fortunately, I didn't die. I actually have become like uh, an expert on <laughs> on end rating <laughs> by now. <laughs> Um, and yeah, uh, I think that's what I w what I was willing to talk to you about because yeah, I've been I've been working a lot in between episodes, and I think that makes 
I think that makes that makes the video <laughs> for today. So I think I will leave leave it there. A little bit of a shorter one. Sorry about that. Uh, but yeah, now that I'm ready, I think it's time for us to go visit our ancient friend uh, on the city. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please consider leaving a like and maybe subscribing to my channel. And I'll see you in the next episode. See ya. Thank <laughs> you.